Welcome to the Simplified Logic tutorial on relations. In this video, we will discuss what are relations. We will also talk about design intent. And finally, we will discuss the relationship between dimensions and parameters to control your model. So what are relations? Relations are equations or calculations defined by the user. Relations, as the name implies, are a set of associations using dimensions, parameters, or mathematical functions to drive design intent. Design intent is the intelligent arrangement of a model's attributes to create a flexible yet stable model that reacts predictably to variations of design requirements. So now let's set up some relations using the parameters that we created in the previous tutorial. So I will go to Tools, Relations, and I can see the parameters that I created in the last exercise. I'm going to pull this window over here a little bit so I can see my model. And the first one I'm going to create is a relation setting the D0 dimension here to length. So I'll bring D0 over in my relation editor, hit the equal sign, and then come down to my parameters, right click on the length parameter, and say insert to relations. And I'll say OK. And I can regenerate that model and you saw the model adjust slightly to the change in that relation. If I go back into my relations I can also view my parameters as you can see and let's go ahead and modify that length to 100 and as soon as I hit OK and regenerate you see a change in the model. Now let's set up another relation controlling the number of bolt holes in my pattern. Back to relations Go to my next line. I'm going to select pattern off my model tree. The dimension that I'm looking for is the P21 dimension that controls the number of, of a holes. P21 equals, and again, I'm going to come to my, down to my parameters and grab hole number. Insert that into my relations. And I'm going to go ahead and just value this number so we can see a change in the model. I'm going to set that to 2. Hit OK. Regenerate. And you see that the model has again updated. Please check out other video tutorials from Simplified Logic or visit our website at simplifiedlogic.com.